Welcome to the next edition of our brand new ETV magazine at Electronica 2012. Today we'd like to focus on automotive and electromobility. The car of the future is becoming even more intelligent, and so is the infrastructure. Traffic management and control systems are having to become more intelligent and increasingly communicate with the car's information systems. For electromobility, the semiconductor industry is looking for ways to increase the range of e-cars. They're developing new battery charging systems and solutions for a charging infrastructure. What we're seeing at Electronica is unmistakable. The automotive and e-mobility sectors are merging with each other. Here are today's topics. Automotive, car communication, e-mobility, car to X standard. For car to X communication, one thing above all is essential. Common standards across the board that all manufacturers conform to. A couple of days ago, leading companies from the automotive, the semiconductor, and the science sectors agreed on a uniform standard. The so called Car to Car Communication Consortium wants to make the first network systems available on the market by 2015. In the foreseeable future, the car will become the primary control center. Vehicles from a wide variety of manufacturers will communicate with each other and traffic management systems to increase efficiency of traffic, make driving safer, and reduce consumption. With the digitalization of the car, the automotive sector is becoming increasingly important for the electronics industry. I'm standing here at Texas Instruments booth with Mr. Schambacher. Mr. Schambacher, how important is the topic of automotive innovation for TI and for the industry as a whole? Innovation is very important, especially in the automotive sector. Um, today, about 80% of the innovations in the automotive world are driven through electronics, or mm -hmm. driven by electronics, actually. And we at uh, TI um, want to drive this even further. And one example, actually, is this concept study of a future center stack. Okay, a, a future um, console in a, in a it's car? It's a future, yeah, okay. center console. Mm -hmm. So this is where you operate your navigation system, your mobile phone, your air condition, so lots of things you need to yeah, control in your car, actually. Mm -hmm. This component's not only for gaming with Xbox, it also has special components from Freescale that help it to communicate with Xbox. And now I'm going to try it out with a little help from Damien. So tell me, what do I have to do? So the Mad Cat's force feedback steering wheel um, is designed on a Kinetis K20 market controller and okay. provides force feedback to you as you're driving. So okay. you get realistic feel as you're actually driving the, uh, the, the car. Okay. If you'd like to begin uh, by pressing the accelerator, um, it takes the input from the pedals ah, down to the game me. controller. Wait, um, wait, 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 to the game okay. controller and you now find that you will get feedback on the steering wheel as you're racing around the track. Okay. On the stand, it is just a gimmick, yet the future of human-to-vehicle communication is being decisively shaped by the developments in the semiconductor industry. So at the moment, uh, the car is primarily a self-contained network. It can communicate to the human the obvious things such as speed and fuel condition and so on. But of course, with more and more sensors coming into the car, we can now begin to get information from systems such as radar and systems such as lane departure systems where the car will communicate that the, with the human that there's potentially a dangerous situation, a collision about to occur. But more communication can also lead to more distraction. Kyocera has developed a new touchpad technology for the driver so you don't have to take your eyes off the street. So normally when you look at, when you use a display with touchpad, you always have to see the display and if you are correctly clicking or not, but uh, this one, if you click something and uh, you really, your finger really feels that uh, you are clicking something. And um, what the difference from what others do is that um, we can create uh, many different kinds of uh, feelings, like uh, click once, click, double click, triple click, and sometimes slimy feelings, so many, many different types. The driver also gets haptic feedback from AB Electronics accelerator pedal. The pedal warns against potentially dangerous situations on the road by emitting a signal, for example, if the driver goes too fast. New solutions for the car to x networking concepts must synergize, and that has to happen in the car itself. 
This is true for both conventional and electric vehicles. And just what an integrated car looks like can be seen at the world premiere at Electronica 2012, the concept car EV from Vistian. Let's go check it out. And there it is. Mr. Bertrand Stelandre, hey. you're going to tell nice me to all you. about this car, right? Yeah, welcome, and uh, let's see uh, the BB together. Let's do it. So. Okay. So I see one, two, three, four, five. There are a bunch of different monitors. Can you tell me what they're what they're for? What, how how would I use these monitors? Yeah, sure. All these monitors are just for the driver. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything else, uh, you use your own device. So this could be my uh, my tablet I bring with me for the passenger. Uh, this could be my uh, iPhone uh, with uh, uh, wireless charging in the car. Okay. But all the uh, displays in the car are dedicated for the driver driving, for the safety and for the convenience on the new mobility. And I notice that there are little notes here, so is it that the car recognizes me when I get into That's it? That's exactly it. Ah, uh, okay. You start to interact with the car mm -hmm. out from the vehicle. Mm -hmm. You are at home, you have your rich profile, yeah. where you put all your settings, your data, uh, your language. Uh, language yeah, uh, will be important. in French for me, <laughs> that will be easier. <laughs> And uh, when you get in the car, uh, the vehicle knows who you are mm -hmm. and will say, welcome, Han. And when will we see cars like this on the market? The vision of the car is targeting 2020. Okay, soon. Uh, yes, pretty soon. And one of the key new usage that is coming more and more is the fact that you don't need always to own your own car. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? If you don't always own the car, you need to, you can share the car with your family, you can share your car with your company, or you can use uh, a car sharing uh, mm -hmm. a company. Mm -hmm. um, but when you, that means that when you gain in the car, you don't want to learn about it. Immediately you need to, how to use it and to recognize and to feel at, at home. Uh, so that's exactly the reason why uh, we need to reinforce this feeling of ownership when you get in yeah. the car. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bertrand. Yeah. This is you're, wonderful. You're welcome. <laughs> so maybe that's what the car of the future is going to look like. But how will we charge it? And where does the electricity come from? And how do we get the electricity into the vehicle? The electronics industry has several answers to these questions. Charging with the power of the sun is one option. The solar car, which in 2013 will have to cover 3,000 kilometers in Australia in the World Solar Challenge, also needs the best components. Renesis provides not only the controllers for energy harvesting or battery management, but is also sponsoring participation in the competition. To avoid confusion in the charging of electric vehicles, Phoenix Contact has developed the so-called combined AC-DC charging system. It supports charging with both DC and AC. Charging operations are a field in which the Kostel Group, a global independent family company from Ludenscheidt, is also a specialist. Kostel produces systems that allow both conductive and inductive charging and is as consumer friendly as possible. But not only that. A big concern for us is to make the plug-in so safe that absolutely nothing can go wrong. Because you must understand we're talking here about 600, 850 volts or more. This is obviously highly perilous if someone comes into contact with parts he should not touch. Security is the be-all and end-all for this type of connector here. Electrification is very important. Nearly everything in the car is electrified, whether it's steering or climate control or braking. So the uh, content of semiconductors is steadily growing in the vehicles. Secondly, I would like to mention that the car in the internet and the internet in the car becomes more and more important. So connectivity from vehicle to vehicle and connectivity from the car to infrastructure becomes more important. The electronics industry seems well equipped for the dawning of the digital age. New standards and solutions for car to X communication and vision for the mobility of tomorrow. 
The electronic systems that make this possible are embedded in different environments and must fulfill their tasks accurately. That's why embedded systems is a further focus of Electronica 2012. But more about that tomorrow in the next edition of ETV Magazine. We hope to see you there. Bye-bye.